Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video, I'm going to be talking and discussing my review on Outlaws and Gents Beard Oil and Body Butter right after this intro. Okay, guys, let's get right into it. I'm going to read from the website. It was founded by Shane Brown. Outlaws and Gents was created with the everyday man in mind. What started as a hobby quickly turned into a blazing passion. A little bit about their products. It says, our products are made with natural and organic ingredients, free from harsh chemicals, parabens, and sulfates. We believe that using natural ingredients not only benefits your skin and hair, but also contributes to a healthier planet. What I understand, they have three different scents of oils. I wanted to get the orange and vanilla to check it out. It looks like this. What's really cool about this bottle is it does have the pump top like this, which is really nice to keep you from spilling your oil and a lot easier to use for a lot of people. Little description of their oil. Outlaws and Gents Beard Oil is the perfect solution for those looking for a high quality grooming oil to keep their beard and skin looking and feeling great. Crafted with a unique blend of natural organic ingredients, this grooming oil is designed to nourish and moisturize your skin and your beard, leaving them soft, healthy, and hydrated. The rich combination of clove, orange, and vanilla, pine cedar essential oils provide a refreshing scent leaving you feeling energized and invigorated. The grooming oil comes in a convenient dropper, as I mentioned, making it easy to apply to your beard and skin. It can also be used as a pre-shave oil. To the ingredients, they have jojoba oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, and that's about all they have from what I've understood. Now, to the viscosity of this oil, I would say it's more of the light to medium blend, okay? Uh, what's it smell like? It smells pretty good. I definitely get that nice blast of orange when you first smell it. Uh, I would say that it's pretty good for spring and summer. Uh, I do catch a little bit of the vanilla, but it is more heavier, it seems to me, on the orange. Put it in your beard about an hour later, it kind of blends more out. You can smell a little bit more of the vanilla than the orange. It's just a nice blend, and uh, it's pretty good stuff. This one ounce bottle of oil will cost you $20. I'd like to take a moment and say that I did get some cool stickers in the, in the package. So if you are into stickers, I also got a cool bristle brush and this one is round, which is cool. And on the back it says outlaws and gents. Pretty cool. As well as this cool handy dandy little comb, outlaws and gents. Really, really cool product I'm gonna talk about next. It's one that I've really enjoyed. It is a beard and body butter. So it's not only marketed for your beard, but also for your body. And I've used this for tattoos. If you have tattoos, it's really, really good at moisturizing it. This one is the tobacco and vanilla. And uh, I'm gonna read the ingredients. It has mango butter, shea butter, uh, hemp seed butter, and fragrance oil. It's 100% all natural butters with fragrance oil added. So one thing I will say, smells pretty good. It's not overwhelming. I do put this on, but I also use fragrance too during the day when I go out. I use different fragrances in my beard as far as scented oils. And you can see how much I've used of this butter. Now, as I said, I do use it on my tattoos. I use it on my elbows. Uh, if you are a guy, you can also use it for other reasons and purposes for a man. I really like this. I did talk to Eli, who's ahead of all their products. And one thing that I've noticed, this butter was created not to be greasy. There's a lot of butters that you can put in your beard. You just get this nasty, grimy, uh, just a slick, uh, oily butter. This one, it moisturizes and it absorbs really, really nice and quickly. As I said, I really, really do enjoy wearing this on my tattoos, rubbing it on my arms. And I've tried this oil and butter out and today I tried it again just to refresh my memory on it. And once again, this is another good product. Now, if you've never heard of Outlaws and Gents, you gotta check them out. Outlaws and Gents is a uh, barber shop. It's a franchise, they're all over from what I understand. And uh, they kind of branched out and started making their own products. So 
there's a different line with the products than the barber shops, but they kind of all started from the same guy. And so anyways, with that said, this butter will run you $27. Also, I really like this hat. This hat is $30 and it is a trucker hat. If you follow my channel, you know I love trucker hats. So if you want to be a nice guy and send me a trucker hat for my birthday or maybe a cool shirt, I'll send you my address where to ship it. No, I'm just kidding. Seriously though. I really, really love trucker hats and I love collecting them. And this one is a nice one. So go ahead and if you like trucker hats like me, go ahead and go on their website and pick one of these up. Check out the butter, $27 as I said, and the oil is going to cost you $20. All right, guys, so with that said, what is my final thoughts of this company? Well, I think this company, from what I know, I don't know a whole lot about the company, but from what I know and from Eli, the guy I've been talking to for the last month, seems to be a really, really nice, solid guy from what I understand. The beard products, they're pretty good. They're not cheap. Uh, they feel good. They don't leave your beard greasy. They smell pretty good. The only thing that I would say about this company is I wish that they would have more scents available other than the three, which is okay. Maybe they're a growing line. So that is one thing that I will say. Let's get some more scents in this company. Guys, let's think about this and make more scents. I'm just kidding. That was such a dad joke. But seriously, will I continue to use this product? Yeah, I think I'd try the pine and cedar and the orange and clove. I don't know if you've seen their cool t-shirts. They got a black one and they got a gray one. I think they're awesome. Anyways, guys, to wrap it up, I think it's good. I think you won't be disappointed with it. If you like nourishing stuff, if you have tattoos, you'll love the butter. If you love butter, that's not going to be greasy in your beard. You love butter that's going to be able to go on your body. If you like beard oil, that's not going to be greasy, but it's going to make your beard look good. I've got it in today. My beard's looking pretty nice. In my opinion, it looks pretty good. Uh, I think you guys might like it. We give this a high rating of a company. I think they do a good job. So one out of five, I'm going to give it a probably three and a half, only because they don't have enough scents. One scent that I've smelt so far smells pretty good, but I got to check out the other two. Uh, but I do really wish that they would come out with more scents. Go ahead and hit the like button, guys. It really helps with the channel. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so that way you are up to date with every video that I put out on all of these small batch beard companies that I'm checking out and reviewing and giving my take on. So I'll catch you on the next one. Stay blessed and stay bearded.